shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. I don't think that art should be censored, uh, not at all. Uh, a part of creating is getting response and sometimes that's a positive response, sometimes it's a negative response. I've had a few complaints Censored? No. That's. I censored a few people only on public access. You know, I might put a buzzer over the F word. Basically, Congress is not supposed to cut your freedom of speech. You know, they're not supposed to be putting censors on the press. And, you know, the right of the people to peaceably assemble, such as, you know, marches and things like that, they can't, they can't stop that. Art is someone's personal interpretation of some experience of theirs or perception of theirs um, using an artistic material to do it. Censorship. I guess the, the I mean, I guess there's room for censorship uh, in certain avenues. Being human, to a certain extent, to be human and to be living in a civilized place as uh, for it or against it as we must be, we're constantly struggling with this idea of self-edification and self-censorship. Well, I think there was an incident at RISD where art was displayed and um, the police were ordered to come in and take down any what they called pornographic art. We can have a very peaceful conversation about your beliefs. And uh, the police were given the decision-making power as to what was pornographic or not, and that was illegal. And I think the ACLU built a case around that. That was several years ago. Uh, take public access, for instance. Uh, I don't want my opinion censored. I don't want opinion, opinions of our guests censored. But, I mean, out of respect for the people and the, and the people that are watching the show and choose to watch the show, if you have to bleep out a, an expletive or... Uh, you know, someone, uh, you know, you can't yell, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. It's just how it is. Some people are more in touch with it. Some people, uh, like the transgression artists, are looking to exploit that, looking to exploit the fact that we are animals. And, you know, as shocking as this is, it's really not all that unnatural. We are animals and we are susceptible. We, we do have addictions. We do, we do lust. We do uh, a lot of uh, anti-Victorian era uh, activities. I'm a hip hop listener, so they they uh, they censored that uh, Jada Kiss album. It was supposed to be called Kiss My Ass, and it's called Last Kiss. Um, in certain states, they ban you from wearing the clothes that you want to wear or in the fashion that you want to wear it. Down in New, uh, New London, Connecticut, a few years ago, there was a piece of work that was done in a Greco-Roman style with an illustration of uh, nude sort of like uh, statue figures like you would find in ancient Greece. And uh, there was some opposition to that in the community and it was on display on one of the main streets in New London. It matters, you know, racy? No, that doesn't matter. It's more or less like the, the nudity kind of thing. People get offended over that in the you know, freedom of expression of the art in the art world. Uh, that's the only one that makes uh, headlines. But the public doesn't necessarily have the, the full range of the First Amendment that they, they should. Uh, it's kind of like a passive quieting of society, distracting people with other issues and uh, making the outlets for, to, to, to be heard more and more difficult, becoming more corporatized, more monitored, filtered. Everything's a news market. It's not 
People don't care about opinions, they care about what sells. Well, I think you have the right to say anything you want, but I think if it offends someone, then maybe there's a problem with it. And I think that's maybe the issue with, with people speaking about racial issues and, and, and those types of things. I think, you're, you know, you can say it, but that doesn't mean it's the right thing to say at the appropriate time. I mean, it, I think that's the whole point of, of uh, you know, our Bill of Rights and uh, is to say that we are able to see what we're able to see and we're free to choose so that the right stays open for everybody. Let's hope the First Amendment works for us before we have to resort to the Second. This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.